Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a long time since my last video. I know you're probably all waiting in anticipation for my next video, but uh, no, here it is. So it's been a while because of a lot of different reasons. Uh, it's been national holiday, mid-autumn festival. Um, I've moved to a new house. If you're astute, you've been following me, you'll recognize that this is not where I usually make a video from. Um, but I moved, I'm gonna make a video about that soon. I'm gonna make a business update video soon. Lots of stuff I need to do, it's just been freaking crazy. And today, um, actually this is just kind of a, a video I just decided to make spur of the moment because um, kind of a learning experience happened to me this weekend. And this, this channel is, a lot of, is about a lot of different things. And one of those things is about my business, right? And um, learn some things this weekend. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. This weekend basically was the end of um, a long week of national holidays. So it was a really busy week. I had tons of customers, travelers, locals. I was just flat out all week. I also participated in like a kind of farmer's market, kind of craft fair type of thing. So it's just been kind of really crazy hectic. And then, um, so three days ago on Friday night, this man contacted me on WeChat and he said he wants to have an event at my cafe. Uh, he runs a English training school and all this stuff. I said, yeah, no problem. We can arrange an event at your at my cafe. That'd be great. And so um, I basically said, you know, when do you think you want to do it? And he's like, oh, well, I'll call you. And this was on Friday night, right? So I was busy at the time and I hate talking on the phone anyway. I was like, you can just WeChat me, send me what you want to do. He's like, I, I prefer a phone call or talking person. I said, okay. So come by to my cafe tomorrow, we can talk about it. So he said, okay, I'll be there at your cafe at 8.30 in the morning. I was like, well, I don't open till 11 usually, but yeah, that's fine, I'll, I'll be there at 8.30 if that's when you can come, that's fine. Like he didn't ask, is it 8.30 good for you or anything like that, so first bad, bad signal of many. So okay, I met him at 8.30 in the morning, it was Saturday, so he's like, this weekend, let's have an event. I have a, I have a class um, from my school, I have two classes from my school, they wanna come, they've been practicing how to order food in English, um, they know how to say hamburger or french fries, so your place would be perfect. They can come to your, your cafe and eat. So okay. So, this weekend, you mean tomorrow? And he said, yeah, tomorrow, uh, Sunday. We can, have a, we can have a big event, we can have a big party, starting at 9 in the morning. And I was like... Okay, yeah, I can probably, I can probably do this. It's last minute, but I can probably do this. So, uh, we hashed out the details. He said he wants kind of a special menu with special price, of course. And I said, okay, I'll make something for you. The kids were learning hamburger, french fries, Coke, uh, basically like all the fast food kind of items. So I said, I'll make a special menu just for the kids and a special price. He told me he wants everything 20% uh, discount. He said he wants everything 20% discount. I said, I wish I would stop honking. And construction and everything going on, but um, anyway. I said, yeah, 20% discount's fine. I'll make you a special menu, so that all in English. I'll print it up nice so the kids can have something to look at and order from the menu, like try to be very uh, cooperative for this guy and do everything he wants. So I go in Photoshop, I make a menu. I tell my staff, I say, hey staff, we're gonna have like, because he said 80 people, 80 people. I said, we're gonna have 80 people tomorrow. We're gonna have to make a lot of hamburger buns, prepare a lot of everything. So we're gonna be baking all day. We made like 120 hamburger buns just for these guys, plus our regular buns we do every day. We usually do about 40 buns at the present time. So um, so yeah, we baked like 150 buns at least. I didn't count them, but a, a lot of hamburger buns. I sent him the menu and he's like, oh, these prices are not cheap enough. I was like, well, they're not exactly 20% discount because you know, in China and probably uh, every place you want to have like a nice number, like just because it's twenty percent. Like, if it ends up being like seventeen dollars and thirty-four cents, you know, in America, that'd be a weird price, right? So you see, might say seventeen fifty or seventeen ninety-nine. You know, you might figure out a, a price. Plus, I also have my own costs involved: my labor, my my sunk cost for cost of goods, all this stuff. Like, I have to consider what I can still make money, right? So he's like, "Oh, this price is not good enough." I told him, you know, if it's not good enough, then we don't have to have the event, because I, you know, I don't, I don't care. It's his event. It's not my event, and. I gotta make money or else I'm not gonna do it, there's no point. So then uh, he said, like, oh, I already told the parents, I already told the parents, so we're gonna have the event. So okay. And he's like, but can you give my staff uh, free food? And so in the event, he said it was gonna be two parts, one like morning time, one lunch, uh, after lunch, like from about 9.30, the kids would start coming until 11, the first part, and then from two until 4.30 or five, the second part, two different classes. So I assumed, I should have confirmed, but I assumed he meant like, can you give my staff lunch? You know what, fine, if there's gonna be 80 kids and some parents and stuff and 
I sell some, sell some food, you know, like I can give your, your staff also a free meal. He said teachers, I shouldn't even say staff, he said teachers. I figure two classes, that's two teachers, right? Okay. So Sunday morning, I got there like eight in the morning, he told me he'd be there at eight in the morning to start setting up. I was like preparing morning stuff, and I still had to go to the store to get some like paper plates because I hadn't had time the day before because I was so busy. He was supposed to get there at eight and then staff or something nine, and kids and parents start at 9.30, something like that. But anyway, so I'm sitting there like 8.30, I'm like, dude, are you gonna come or what? Because I gotta go to the store and get some paper plates because I, I don't have 80 plates, plus I don't want to give you breakable plates, right? He didn't reply to me, he finally showed up like 8.45, and I, I, I was like, all right, dude, you guys set up your stuff, I gotta go get some, get some paper plates. So uh, he sets this stuff up, I come back, and there's already like tons of kids and people all around. And he's like, hey, can uh, my teachers have breakfast? Can you make them breakfast? And I was like, yeah, I'll make you guys breakfast burgers. I'll make, I'll make breakfast burger for all of you. And there was like five teachers there already. So I make breakfast burgers and he's like, hey, can they have coffee? Can they have milk? I was like, uh, you know, they could probably pay for that. I'll give, I'll give you a 20% discount, but you're going you're gonna to start adding all this stuff on. you got to start paying for stuff because I'm not a charity. I'm not trying to run a business. And this is the first time he's like, oh, well, last time we did this event, we did it at Dicko's. And Dicko's, if you don't know, is like Chinese KFC. It's just a fried chicken chain it's like a big corporate chain like KFC same has probably has a thousand stores and I was like I told him I'm like hey man I'm like a personal small business I'm not dickos I don't have a big group behind me I can't I'm not I'm also not serving you like frozen buns and I'm serving you fresh food you know I was baking all this yesterday because we talked about it you know like you have five teachers here already for breakfast I asked him I'm like you want lunch too right because I assumed it was lunch you wanted free He's like, oh yeah, 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 lunch, and then after the thing we have dinner. He's like, uh, all this stuff. Is, I'm like, okay, so that's 15 adult meals you want me to prepare for these people? And I'm selling 80% off to your, these kids and all this stuff. I'm like, I, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I'm happy to do this event for you, but I'm not going to give you a bunch of free stuff. That's not how this works. I'm trying to make money. Like, he's like, oh, 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 oh. but we want to have a long-term cooperation with you. I was like, well, I'm not going to cooperate with you if I'm not making any money, right? That doesn't make any sense. And this is the first time he dropped this line. Because his English is pretty good because he runs an English school. So this is the first time he dropped this line. He said, think about all the exposure you're going to get. Exposure. So uh, <laughs> I've worked in a photography business for quite a few years. I've done freelance photography. I worked in a photo company. I've done all this stuff. I've been around this business. If you're a photographer of any sort, or any sort of creative type person, I'm sure you have been well aware of people offering you exposure like on Instagram or whatever, like, oh, you can film me for no money, but I'll pay you an exposure. So like, I get that, I get it, I understand it. And exposure can be a valuable thing, but it doesn't pay for your bills, right? Like, and I would have never thought that I would get offered exposure as a payment in exchange for a hamburger. You know, I thought when I left the photography business kind of behind me, nobody would be offering me exposure anymore in exchange for goods and services. But here we go, this guy's like, oh, I'll give you exposure. So um, that was the first time, that was like in the morning already. I was like, oh fuck, this is gonna be, oh, oh darn. This is gonna be a really interesting day. I can feel it already. Um, in the morning time, we had this event, a lot of kids, a lot of parents. For the most part, it went pretty well. Like Kids would come up kind of one by one, but not really because they're kids. And they would order off the menu, I want a hamburger, I want french fries, I want a Coke. And then so I would ring them up, give them their receipt, whatever, and fine, okay. But my cafe is quite small. Like Usually you could only see like 24 people. Like, not even comfortably, that would be packed, right? Um, so anyway, um, we had probably 50 people in there. Parents, kids, teachers. And I uh, had a lot of orders. And so it was like a madhouse, insane, and we're calling out the numbers and the kids can't speak English and they, I don't know, they're seven, eight years old, they might even not, not know what number 48 is in Chinese, right? So also saying Chinese, they might have lost their receipt, I don't know, it's just kind of a madhouse. We're trying to hand out food, anyway, it goes crazy, there's wasted food, leftover food. Okay, so then it's lunch, we feed all the staff, whatever, and the guy's like, the guy come up to me between the, between the classes and he's like, oh, in the morning it was kind of like, really a mess how you guys did that, like you didn't know whose kid was what. I was like, dude, these are your kids, these are your staff, you got five staff here, plus you. I'm here bringing up people, I have people making hamburgers for you, I'm not, it's not my job 
to decide to know who's who's order what. The kids have a little receipt with a number on it. Maybe have them all line up. I was like, in the afternoon, I was like, hey, you know what we can do? We can start at this back table and have them really actually come up one by one by one, order their food, and then stand over here, just like a, like a, like a train. Like, start here, one kid, order food, stand over here, wait for your food. I told him that's what, that's what we're doing in the afternoon. Because he was like complaining, oh, it's so, so ruined, so, so messy, so unorganized. I was like, whatever. So this guy's all complaining about how we serve the food to these kids. So then we give them lunch, give all the staff lunch, five more lunches, six including him. And they're like, oh, can I get a Coke? Can I get this? Can you make me a coffee? I was like, yeah, but you gotta pay for it. And then they're like, oh, boss said it would be free. I'm like, well, boss said it was gonna be a meal for teachers, not five meals for breakfast, five meals for lunch, five meals for dinner. That's different, so we're on different uh, wavelengths here. So if you guys want a drink, you can pay me for it. So anyway, they were like not very happy about that, but well, I don't care, whatever. So then afternoon we had another big group, um, 50 kids or so. Oh, it went a little bit better, tried to be a little bit more organized, it went better. I thought it went fine for the most part. And then afterwards, the guy again, he was like, oh, you know, we don't have this kind of habit to eat hamburgers three times a day. I told him too, I was like, actually, we don't have the habit to eat hamburgers three times a day either. He's like, oh, what? I thought this was your Western food. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is our Western food, but we have more than one type of food. We don't just eat hamburgers all day, as much as you might think so. I mean, maybe that's just because I live in this rural farmer village in China, but uh, apparently the guy that speaks like really good English and should understand kind of our culture better, well, we don't have the habit. So I was like, good, all right, fine. And then he's like, uh, can you make us a pizza? Uh, no, man, no, 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 that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, okay? And um, he's like, but we want to have a long-term cooperation. I was like, dude, again, I really don't want to have a long-term cooperation with you if you're going to try to take advantage of me, okay? Like, we should have planned this in advance instead of one day in advance. We should have had like a written agreement how much food you're going to get or what you're going to get for free or how many teachers are going to be here or something. This, this all should have been done. And I, my feeling... I don't know if it's true or not, but my feeling is that this guy kind of did this last minute and dumped it all on me last minute was because it's easier for him and this kind of person to like push the limits, take advantage. If there's not like an agreement, if they think like they want you to feel like they're doing you a favor by giving you all this business, right? Or doing something for you, so you should be nice to them. But like, I'm not going to be a pushover. Like, I honestly was more of a pushover than I should have been. But at the end, I was like, dude, no, there's no more food coming for you guys. Until, until... He was like, uh, well, uh, actually, two of my teachers had to stay behind at the school, and I told them I'd have free food for them. I told them I'd have a meal for them, and he's like, uh, and also there was a student that couldn't come. So can you just like give me three more meals to go, and then the other five teachers that are here won't have dinner here, and we don't need pizza. And I looked over like at my stuff, and there was still like uh, some cold fries over there, some cold fried chicken over there. And so I was like, all right, fine, you can, you can have some of this leftover stuff, and I packed it up for them and gave him some leftover food, so whatever, like, I don't know. At the end of the day, the lesson learned is this, like, uh, in China, you're probably not gonna have a written agreement for some kind of, like, cooperation like this, but confirm the details at least, like, orally. Uh, but it was such a last minute thing, so rushed. And you know what, like, in the long run, it's not like I can't afford to give this guy 15 meals, like, I won't go broke, I won't go out of business, but obviously I don't, I don't want to serve 80 meals in a day and spend the day before that baking buns all day to not make any profit, right? Like, I need to have some profit come out of this. And exposure, like I said, is not going to pay the bills. Um, and maybe, just maybe, these 80 kids that came will tell their parents about it that didn't come. They'll say, oh, I had this really good hamburger, I had french fries, and then next time the families want to have a hamburger, maybe they will come to my place. So maybe the exposure will work out in the long run. But uh, I just kind of wanted to rant and vent a little bit and I hope that uh, you understand where I'm coming from and my point was clear about like uh, the story, I guess, the point of the story, just uh, I'm venting and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, I guess. I appreciate you all. Last thing, I know I haven't done my monthly update, haven't done a lot of things. I have so many videos I'm working on but I just haven't had the time and the energy to do it because I've been so busy with garbage like this 
fundraiser thing or whatever activity for this kid's school um, and everything else going on. But uh, I do have a lot of stuff I'm working on that I need to chop, 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 edit, edit, edit. I think this one I can just kind of edit without really editing, so I'm going to put that out there quick. And I got updates for last month. I got all kinds of stuff. So stick with me, please. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you're a business owner or you're an artist, creative, do not accept exposure bucks. Exposure bucks will not pay you the bills. They won't keep the lights on. They won't do anything except uh, give you stress. So, and if you're the type of person that asks for services and goods in exchange for exposure, don't do that again. Please stop doing that. Money for goods and services equal happy. Okay, bye-bye, thank you.